Is this the best Honda Shadow ever made? Or is this the scariest Honda Shadow ever made? What's up guys, I'm Sean from SRKCycles.com and with me today is a 2015 Honda Shadow Phantom and like all Honda Shadows that they currently make, it's a 750cc engine and it's a pretty awesome bike. Honda started making the Shadow back in the, back in the early 80s, in 1983. It was Honda's rendition of a American V-twin cruiser bike and it, it did pretty well. Honda started the Shadow Phantom in 2010. This is what motorcycle companies always do and also what car companies do. They take the same bike, same frame, put a different collar, put different, different types of wheels, different fenders. This one's all blacked out. They change the color of the frame and they call it a completely different bike. Uh, motorcycles do it from the Street Glide to the Ultra Classic to the Phantom to the Aero to the ZX-14 to the Kawasaki Concourse. It's, that's just how they do it. And car companies do the exact same thing. And it makes sense that they do it. It's good that they do it. It keeps the cost down. And, but people connect with different ones. I like, honestly, I like the, the Shadow Phantom better than the Shadow Arrow. I think it's a, it fits me a little bit more. You know what I mean? That's, that's what we're all looking for. The bike that fits me a little bit more. And a, the color scheme and the color of the frame and the, the style and the way it looks can connect with someone better than someone else. And with the possible exception of the Honda Shadow RS, I think the Honda Shadow Phantom is the, coolest, is the coolest Honda Shadow ever produced, and here's why. All right, so so what? They're still using a rear drum brake. So what? It's all plastic. It's to keep the weight down. So what? It's only pushing out 44 horsepower. Actually, let me put that in context for you. So let's compare the 44 horsepower that this thing's putting out, and let's compare that to a 2012 Harley Davidson Ultra Classic with the 103 cubic inch, which makes that motor, I don't know, three times the size of this engine. This thing weighs 550 pounds. The Harley Davidson weighs 900 pounds. So this thing is 61% weight of the Harley Davidson. This thing has 44 horsepower. The Harley Davidson has 64 horsepower. This has 68% of what the Harley Davidson has. This is 59% of what the Harley Davidson torque is. You compare all that with power to weight, this thing's actually pretty impressive. So not only does this thing have more than enough performance to get you down the road, it has more than enough performance to get you and your lady friend down the road. And to prove that, we actually did it right here on another Honda, on an, on an older Honda Shadow. Oh my god, what? What? Caleb! How long have you been back there? Uh, I just got here. Okay. I was uh, I was dozing off because I'm so comfortable riding on the back of this bike. Yeah, uh, well, what are you doing back there, man? Uh, you know, just hanging out. Just uh, not trying to replace your wife or anything, but coming close to it, I think. So I was going to go grab my wife. She weighs 100 pounds. How much do you weigh? Let's, uh, let's like triple that. Nah, we're like 2, 230, 225. All right, so you're 230. Let's say you're 230. Let's say you're 225, I'm 175. Is that 400 pounds? Yeah. All right then, let's change the video. We are gonna see whether a either two fairly large people <laughs> can ride double on a Honda 750 Shadow or one giant 400 pound man. All right, so here's the deal. The bike looks undeniably cool. It doesn't look that small. I'm, uh, I'm over six feet tall. I feel great. I feel great sitting on it. I don't feel like um, I'm crunched. I could go on a big ride on this thing. The 750 motor is undeniably reliable. It's a water-cooled. They run forever. Put fuel in it. Changing the oil is questionable. It's, uh, you know, who cares? They are very reliable bikes. And possibly the best thing about this motorcycle is that it's got a seat big enough for a girl to sit on the back and be comfortable, but not too comfortable that she's not gonna be holding on to you for dear life. So with all that, you get a very simple, cool looking bike, you know, on the used market for less than 6,000 bucks. To be honest with you, what more do you want? Let's go take this thing on a test drive. 
on the ice. I think it's 516 miles. Dang. You ever notice how it says Phantom right there? Yeah, it's sick. But I don't think it lights up. Oh, really? Like, I've never seen it light up. Why wouldn't they just make it light up? I don't know. That is, that is kind of deep. That'd be so... It'd just be like that extra little flare. Right. Yo, it's legit a sheet of ice. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What we do for test drives. All right, guys, let's do this test drive. And you know what? I was going to start this day with a Bible verse. But I'm going to start this day with a prayer because it is freezing cold outside. Icy. Ice all over the place. And I need some of that protection. Dear guy, thank you for uh, this beautiful day. Thank you for uh, thank you for blessing us with the gift of being alive. I pray you'll protect me. Look at <laughs> like driving through snow and stuff. Let's hit it. Ugh. There we go. If I, sh I should be avoiding this stuff, but amen. So I do like these bikes, but it, it really, it okay. Let me just clarify: <laughs> when you're going through this stuff, um, make sure you're going straight. Do not try to take a turn. Do not try to brake. It's ju it's just the bike rolling over it. You can't be doing anything while you're rolling over it. Uh, this is fairly dangerous. So, but it's very easy for people to just bash the 750 Shadow because it is a smaller bike. But it's got everything a motorcycle needs. And it's not super small in size. If all my friends had, if, if we lived in a different country and they don't, there didn't exist these motorcycles with two liter engines, we would all be like, yeah, this is great. I mean, of course, you know, you get to the point where you're like, I want something faster. And that's, that's fine. I get it. I mean, there's always faster. But for for the majority, for a lot of people, and they just want a fun, a fun, quick, snappy bike. And for a lot of people, it's not about speed. Motorcycling is not about going fast. For me, it is, um, but not always. You know, sometimes it's about just being out here, getting out, enjoying life in a different way that you don't normally get to en get to enjoy it. Uh, something I was actually looking. I was looking down here, I was like, where's the fuel light? How, am I, how, how do I know when it needs fuel? But the fuel light's actually up here. So it's a turn signal light and the high beam light. Now guys, this is just straight up ice. Just straight up ice. If, I, if, I, if, if, if one of these turns end up, ends up having a patch of ice, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm keeping it slow. I'm keeping it cautious. The concern is not my back end coming out. It's always going to be your front end coming out. Look at that. Someone hit that thing. There's still a fender. There's still a fender connected to it. So the Shadow's not the fastest bike, but it does have enough. It's got enough power, and it gets you outside. It gets you on the road. It gets you moving. Gets you having fun. And it gets you going to different places. I've met a, I've met a lot of guys. I've sold, I've sold a lot of bikes to a lot of guys that that buying a motorcycle just opened up these opportunities for him. They started, <laughs> this one gets one buddy of mine, uh, we sold him, I think two bikes, but him buying a motorcycle had just opened up so many big opportunities of him just going on trips he would never go on and, and meeting people online that, you know, they, hey, you ride motorcycle, let's go ride, let's go riding together and stuff. And just, you know, just stepping out of his comfort zone and just ride with other people. It's really cool. It's exciting. It's exciting to watch that and see people, you know, opening up their, just open up the doors and oh, just having more fun around something as simple as as motorcycles. And ultimately, it's not, it's not really about the motorcycle. It's about getting outside, meeting people, seeing things you haven't seen before. And that, and that's why. You know, when it's all about the bike, you start focusing on different things, but ultimately it's about those things I just mentioned. And when it is about those things I just mentioned, it makes bikes like this, you, you can understand how bikes like this are great. It's a great motorcycle because it does those things. It opens up those doors. It opens up, it opens up those opportunities extremely well. And it does it reliably 
and for a price tag that's, that's pretty pretty reasonable is it a great motorcycle when in in the aspect of when you compare it to the fastest biggest baddest bikes out there well if that's all you're comparing it to then you know then no but in the history of motorcycling this thing is awesome now here's another bad thing about riding when it's this cold if someone pulls out in front of me even though i've got enough power i've got enough traction that you know the 44 horsepower this thing has i can you know i can accelerate and it doesn't spin the tires anything you know you start getting the 600 super sports and leader bikes you, you have no you can't you can really can't get on it there's just no traction um those tires are not made for weather this cold but if someone pulled out in front of me i'm not going to have the braking power i'm not going to have the traction to deal with it see this this is what i was afraid of yeah all right guys <laughs> if you guys want to watch see i can actually get back no i'll be fine all right guys that wraps it up we'll see you next time don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit notifications check out this next video remember it's not what you're riding but where are you going <laughs>